What's good YouTube? It's your boy Diamond back at again with a new video. In today's video, I'll be talking about Nike Hyper KO boxy shoes. Let's go. Also, do me a favor, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find this video and more people can find this channel. And hopefully you enjoy the video. Alright, let's start with the box. It came with an orange, you know, basic Nike box. So basically it comes with the shoes. I already opened the box here. Just gonna show you the shoe guys. So here it is. We don't need this garbage. As you can see guys, I have the black and silver color scheme. I got these last month. I couldn't wear them because I wanted to test them in the boxing gym. But obviously the gyms are closed right now, so didn't have a chance. My opinion about these shoes is that it's lightweight and I don't know if you guys can see, but at the corner there's a gap between your feet, which I think is a nice feature when you're throwing combos or a hook. As far as the quality, it's very comfortable and has a nice support on your ankle between right here. And that's a, that is a major key in the game of boxing. These shoes are very soft on your foot, so you don't have to worry about that. Also, you can tell every inch of the stitching is on point. Same goes to the Velcro. If you guys didn't know, these shoes were mostly wear by Manny Taikyo and others, professional boxers. Now, these shoes were designed by a match hopper with the Flywire technology, which basically means wearing a sock inside the shoes. So when you put on the shoes and tie everything down, you won't have a problem moving around. The reason why I bring this up is because if you get a bigger size than your normal size, you're gonna eventually have blisters and probably injuries, and you want to prevent that. Quick example of what I'm talking about. So I brought another brown. Obviously these are bas basketball shoes, right? And so these are nine and a half. And when I purchased these online, I knew that I had to get a size down. So I got a, a size nine. And so that's what I'm talking about. You can tell the difference. And that goes for all my shoes that I wear. Just make sure you guys don't wear bigger size because like I said, the more space you have, the more likely you're gonna get blisters within your feet and you don't want that. You can see it has the Hyperkeo logo on the tongue and as well as just do it. The thing about these shoes that I like is that when you put your foot on the shoe, when you tie it up, you don't have to tie every individual loophole, which I think is a plus. So most people are wondering why there's a strap in the middle of the, the shoes. So when, when Nike developed these shoes, they had boxers and folds. So this is used mainly for when you apply a lot of pivoting and health and stability. Nice. The thing about these shoes I don't like is that they're very narrow but Nike is known for, for narrow shoes. So this helps on, on people that have wider feet. As far as the, the bottom soil, it's very soft and smooth and has a nice grip. So you don't have to worry with slip, slippery floors. All right guys, I give this shoes eight out of 10 and that's because I haven't used them a lot but I still do recommend it if you guys have the money. The reason why I say this is because these shoes can cost up to $250 to $300. Yes, guys, I know. I know what you're thinking, but you really can't blame Nike because these shoes are pretty fire. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, give this a thumbs up and make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell as well.
Shawty in my phone, yeah, she calling Spending most of my time on roads, I be ballin' Yeah, I be working for my son, don't got no bosses